Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today's day 30 of our 30 day hero's journey through yoga. Our love yoga journey. And this is the final class of the journey. And endings are bittersweet because every ending is the beginning of, some, of something new but there is that bitter element of the whole journey uh, is coming to a closure and we've decided johnny and i to call it happily ever after and what is happily ever after we see it a lot in hollywood movies and in european cinema we see more the ambiguous ending and that sometimes is considered a little more um, poetic and a little more cinematographic to where happily ever after can be a little more disney but what does happily ever after symbolize? It really symbolizes when you see at the end of a movie two lovers sitting, holding hands and looking at the sunset or looking over the ocean. It symbolizes that love is internal and love always wins. And regardless of if this particular couple would forever be happy here on earth, they may tomorrow have a turn of destiny or something, but their love is eternal and that is the symbolism of happily ever after so it has a really sweet undertone to it and this is our theme today for me this journey was phenomenal to teach i'm very grateful to have been here through 30 classes each and every day of january with you and there has been a few lessons for me but one of them is something awesome i think some of you will be excited about it i realized that i will be showing up in this coming year every single day and in the coming years on my website with a new post and a scheduled class new classes or classes from the past so there will be a class of the day each and every day in a post on my website so we'll continue with the daily togetherness practice for a long time and this was a beautiful lesson for me to realize that we all need schedules and we need expectability and we need to do things together as a group as a community to share collective energy and Today's class is going to be heart opening and hip opening vinyasa because we're going to contemplate the quality of generosity and love. Generosity is a form of love. Usually in astrology, it is ruled by Leo, the sign that rules the heart area, the heart chakra. And that chakra gives easily and abundantly so it symbolizes abundance the abundance of the sun that shines over everyone without any regard of who they are it just gives and gives and gives or like fire if you light a lot of candles out of one candle you don't decrease the fire of the original candle there is an unlimited amount of energy abundance light in the universe and we're gonna contemplate that energy generosity the energy of generosity radiated through the heart and sometimes generosity is expressed towards us it's accepting generosity and sometimes it's us extending generosity my teacher Ben Sadono has a really beautiful um, sentiment about it he says to always give to always be generous and give and sometimes when you're in times in life when you cannot give because you don't have the funds you don't have uh, the capacity to give physical uh, objects stuff money etc to imagine that you're giving so stay generous in in your mind visualize giving and you will be able to manifest it into this reality so are you ready to flow with strength and ease begin at the front of the mat standing tall opening the heart opening the chest taking nice deep inhalations activating Mula Bandha, your root chakra root lock also known as deepening the breath to jai breath so closing up the back of the throat 
which allows the breath to slow down. Inhalation and exhalation become way longer because we are inhaling and exhaling at a slower rate, creating that beautiful sound that also Sophie creates when she snores. And she's loved this 30 day journey. As soon as we are ready to shoot, she's hit by melatonin. <laughs> Keep deepening the breath, lengthening through the crown of the head. Inhale the hands out to the sides and feel the vibrancy of this pose as if you're saying thank you and receiving Thank you to the universe, thank you to the sun, thank you to the cosmos. And let's reach over the head, arch. Coming out of this chair pose, exhale the hands behind you, interlacing the fingers. Opening the chest, softening the heart. Take the tailbone under, sit a little deeper. And exhale forward fold. You can release the hands onto your shin bones or onto the floor. Let's bend the left knee, left hand on the floor, right arm up, reaching. Hands reaching away from each other, relax the shoulders down, lengthen through the crown of the head. You can extend the right hand up and over the head, palm of the hand, facing down and pressing the right hip back. Look at your hand. Release, bend the right knee, take the left hand up, lengthen, open, elongate. Press the hip back, left hip presses back, left hand up and over. And we're almost trying to stack the shoulders on top of each other. There is a beautiful twist here, palm of the hand facing down so that ensures that your shoulder is aligning properly. Feel that length from the hip into the fingertips, all along the top of the body here. Exhale down. And step back into plank, spread the fingers wide open, step back. Exhale, Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog. Radiating through the heart here, soften. Exhale, down dog. Lifting the tailbone as high as you can. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, come up high lunge. Exhale the hands behind you, interlacing the fingers, open the chest, lift through the heart here. We're not trying to bend back, we're trying to lift the heart up towards the ceiling, up towards the sky. Opening, radiating, vibrant. This is the energy of openness and giving. loving all right humble warrior lower your forehead down towards the ankle pressing the hands away from you pressing the back heel away from you
inhale chest comes parallel to the floor and we're going to shift into warrior three here keep the clasp if you can if you cannot no big deal Step it back, high lunge, reaching over the head, exhale down, plank to chaturanga, to upward facing dog, to downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. Exhale the hands behind you and switching the grip. So the dominant finger is under, open the chest, soften here, find softness rather than military trying to open the chest and then pop it forward, relax and dissolve. Dissolving the armor that we hold around the heart, protecting our heart and missing, thus missing out on opportunities to love and be loved, open, soften, radiate, receive and give openly, exhale folding, pressing the back heel away from you here. for balance. All right, chest parallel to the floor, level the hips and shift into warrior three. Level the hips, flex the back foot, point the toes down or direct the toes down. Bend the left knee, step it back, high lunge. Reaching up. <laughs> Exhale down. Step it back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Breathe. Let's bring the knees down on the ground, coming to all fours. Feel free to double pad your mat underneath your knees if they're sensitive and we're going to take the right leg up and take the left hand to the ankle you can use a strap here pause the video if you need a strap and open here softening that left shoulder and pressing the leg into your hand to stretch try to level the hips release let's do the other side pressing that foot away from you which opens up the shoulder and release tuck your toes under downward facing dog <sighs> You can walk in place here exploring how your hips feel, how the lower back feels. Mm. 
inhale the right leg up roll the right hip on top of the left bend the knee and lift the knee as high as you can here we're opening the hip keep your shoulders square and keep lifting as high as you can if you feel stiff in this pose just relax your breath let go of expectations or need for the pose to advance just be where you're at and exhale with softness we don't need to force this pose because this pose is something we yield into all right either stay here or feel free to join me for a fun pose called wild thing we did it once in this series it's not a true beginner pose so stay in the previous pose if this is too much but here we are going to bend the right knee step the right foot down open the heart lift the chest lift 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 lifting the hips exhale and back to one legged down dog step the right foot between the hands and come up high lunge breathe exhale the hands behind you fingers interlacing walk the hands down the left leg and open the chest looking up great release reach over the head exhale the left hand on the floor roll onto the outer edges of both feet and sit back into that right hip here you're going to feel the hip opening action right hip is opening flex the foot and feel that you can open the right arm up towards the ceiling and even back all the way towards the left or behind you great all right exhale both hands down on the inside of the right foot keep your knee in walk the left knee further back and take a moment that's another hip opener here feel it soften you can close the eyes for a moment and as we mentioned in the beginning envision yourself giving giving what you're best best at <laughs> or something that you can get from your heart all right beautiful step it back knees on the ground let's take a chaturanga take the tailbone under really flat chaturanga and cobra Try not to straighten the arms here. Keep your elbows into the rib cage. Lengthen the back of the neck. Soften the shoulders back and down. Exhale, down dog. inhale the left leg up bend the knee and open the left hip on top of the right lifting the knee as high as you can softening here soften your breath experiment with mulabanda the root chakra lock kegel muscles and see if that helps with 
finding strength and openness at the same time in the pose. Mulabandha strengthens besides the pelvic floor, all of the abdominal muscles. It strengthens the lower abdominal wall and all the way up to above the belly button really. It tones the bladder, the uterus. The colon. All right. I just stay here or step it behind you. So the left knee is bending, the right leg is straight and radiating through the heart here. Really an open chest and lifted hips. Or stay in the previous pose and experience it. Breathe. Great, coming out of this, one legged down dog. Step the left foot between the hands, bring it between the hands, and come up high lunge. Mm. Breathe. Hands behind you, interlacing, reverse the grip and open. Softening the shoulders here. Walking the hands down the right leg. Softening the heart. Great, inhale, reach, exhale, both hands down and we're gonna flex the feet and press that left hip back, maybe open the chest up and experience the hip openness here, the hip opener. You can even reach forward. Great, exhale, both hands on the inside of the left foot. Walk the right knee further back. Keep your left knee in and hold this stretch here. Making sure that your left knee is behind or above the left heel, but not over the toes. We, you don't want it forward. That's why we're walking the right knee further back. As far as you can open, here, the legs, exhaling, softening here. Beautiful. Step your, bring your left knee back, coming onto all fours. Steady your hips here, walk your hands towards the front of the mat and begin to lower the chest down towards the floor. For some of you it may reach the floor, for others it won't. It doesn't matter and bring the chin on the floor. That's a heart opening, heart to the ground pulse. It's a passive pose. Beautiful. Rest in child's pose. Relax your hands. Hands facing each other. Inhale, coming up onto the knees for camel. So extending the tailbone down, walking the elbows in, fingertips pointing up, if that's impossible, out. Pressing the hips forward as we lift the heart up. Trying to lift the lower back away from the fingertips. Lift, 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 lift. 
heart lifting and exhale you can widen the knees child's pose hands by the heels inhale the hands over the head take your toes under down dog Inhale the right leg up, step it through, drop the back heel down, warrior one. So here the hips are wanting to face forward, to square forward. Pressing the femur. Back, rotating the hip forward. Left hip forward, right hip back. All right, one sweet move. Try, if not, take a few moves and bring your left ankle over the right knee here. Hands over the heart, sit back. This is another hip opener. Make sure that your foot is flexing. All the hip openers have your foot flexing the entire time. From here, coming up to standing, bring your knee into your rib cage, left knee into the left rib cage. See if you can grab the outer edge of your left foot and press the knee back in towards your rib cage. And let's touch up again on the previous pose. A hip opener, sit back and feel that left hip opening. All right, release, coming to standing. Inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look ahead of you. Plank. Chaturanga and up dog. Or cobra and down dog. You can sway, swing your hips side to side here. Let's take the left leg up, step it through, drop the back heel down, bend the left knee and come up warrior one. Right hip pressing forward, left hip back. putting energy into that right heel, directing energy. I'm wearing a malachite necklace, one of my old necklaces because it's green and it's the color of the heart chakra. Also, malachite is considered a very healing stone. It pulls pain out. Some people use it directly on top of pain. All right, from here, we're going to bring the left, uh, the right heel on top of the left knee. Malachite is also an exceptionally beautiful stone. It's this rich green swirling beauty. It's art. Sitting here and pressing the hip back, opening the knee gently and feeling this hip opening. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> the previous classes were yay, yay, yay for the heart poses. This is yum. <laughs> All right, and coming up, knee into the rib cage, grab your of course, you can use here a strap if this is impossible. 
you can grab your outer edge of the foot and push back a little bit speaking of yummy today was my bread sourdough bread baking day and i brought out a beautiful rye loaf whole wheat rye loaf brought out of the oven <laughs> All right, sit again in the hip opener. Yum. <laughs> so you're really feeling it, feeling your edge and just tasting that. It's not, we're not only tasting with our mouth. There is all this rich sensation throughout the body. The Torian quality in all of us <laughs> experiencing. Stepping out, experiencing the body and the senses. Stepping out, coming to standing. Inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, the hands behind your chair. Clasping, soften the shoulders. Tuck the tailbone under. Let's open the right shoulder up, lengthen through the crown of the head. Center, left, center. Reach over the head, tuck the tailbone under again, and see if you can lower down into a squat. Grab your big toes, drop onto the booty, and straighten. Straighten the legs here, holding the toes. Engage the core, really pull the belly in. Straighten the back. and either bring your hands on the floor or in front of you and gently lower down onto the back here we're going to release the right leg on the floor and bring the left knee by the rib cage bending so this is like happy baby only we're doing one side flex your right foot and press the right hip down Activating the right leg on the floor. Great, opposite side. Activating the left leg down. And bring your hands on the behind the knees and rock up to sit it and come up to a squat. If a squat is difficult, you can just come into a forward bend, which all of us will join you into the forward bend. All right, forward bend, straightening the legs, shake your head. Inhale, look ahead of you, halfway up. Exhale, plank. Lower down onto the belly, inhale, cobra and hold it. Soften the chest, roll the shoulders back and down, extending the tailbone down, tapping into the beauty of a heart opener in this place of forgiveness for everything and everyone and ourselves and in tapping into the sense of into the quality of generosity, abundance, joy, exuberance, sharing, extending the tailbone down here and deepen it a little bit. Beautiful, lower down onto, onto the forehead and we're gonna reach over the head and do a few swimmers. Strengthening that, strengthening the lower back. Swim, 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 swim. Child's pose. Relaxing the hands here. The hands, if the hands are over the head, always have the palms of the hands facing each other. So that relaxes the shoulders. Otherwise, you have the hands by the hips. Thank you. 
Inhale the hands over the head and tuck the toes under down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through and directly going to warrior two. We nail the hands into warrior two. Let's turn the right hand up, walk the left hand down the left leg and reach here. Keep bending the knee, opening the chest. Let's straighten the lead knee, reach, reach, reach. Come out of this, hinging at the hips, reach away from the hips here, reach and lower down, triangle pose, open, now we're going to look down, bend the right knee gently and glide your right hand somewhere in front of the right foot for half moon pose again, not a beginner pose, so if you're a beginner don't be hard on yourself, give it a go and Stay light about it. Right hand on the floor. One way to work with it is both hands on the floor and just start opening that left hip on top of the right. Press into the inner edge of the right foot so you're opening that right inner thigh. And try to take the left hand off the floor. See if she can come onto the hip, into the air. If you're here already, see if you can look up. That definitely adds to the balancing element. Flex the left foot. Now the next stage is completely no beginner, but give it a go. Or many of you can do it and many can't, and it doesn't matter. Grab your ankle, left hand to left ankle, open here, and good job, release. Step it back all the way in plank, pull the belly in, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Good job. Hmm. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. Alignment for warrior two, we mill the hands all the way into warrior two. And let's see. Here we're going to turn the left palm up, walk the right hand down the right leg, open the chest here, soften. Relax the shoulders. Bending the lead knee. Great, now straighten that lead knee. Walk further down. Come out. And hinging at the hips. Press the hips as far back as you can. And reach as far forward as you can. Reach, lower down. Open that right hip, externally rotating it, reach up. Breathe. Triangle pose. A micro bend in the knee is advised, especially if you know that you are a little... You have a little hypermobility in the joints. If you are in general pretty stiff, and your hamstrings are pretty stiff here, not going to overextend the knees. So just know your body. For some of us, we have to keep a micro band here. Otherwise, for all of us, activate the feet, spread the toes open, press into the four corners of each foot. Your foundation is always the feet. Look down. And we're going to glide the left hand in front of the left foot. Now take your stages, you can have both hands on the floor and begin to bring the right hip on top of the left, flexing the right foot. 
you can stay here or you can take the right hand up you can even look up and the next stage totally optional is to grab your ankle and open up <laughs> and I have a prop here and great good job step it back plank cobra so lower down onto the belly squeeze your elbows into the rib cage extend the tailbone down open here and hold we're gonna hold it for a couple of breaths so feel your heart radiating in the armor the armor around the chest softening that is a somatic somatic movement principle where we soften the armor that is oftentimes energetically into the in the body in the area of the heart oftentimes experiences from the child from our childhood or from just experiences from adulthood harden the heart in general adults are far less hard open than children are due to unconsciously hardening creating building an armor around the heart thinking that's a good protection from pain but it is not deepen it great child's pose counteracting this is really good for the nervous system doing <laughs> um back bends followed by forward bends very toning for the nervous system Inhale the hands over the head. Down dog. Look underneath the left shoulder and under the right. Soften the face muscles. Smile. Inhale the left leg up, step it through and come up high lunge. We're going to take the right arm out and back and wrap it towards, towards the left hip here, softening the shoulder. Come out of the lunge and take a plie. So we're going to open the feet out, take a plie and reach over to your left hand to the right. Great. Release. Come out of the plie. Turn towards the back of the room, right leg leading. Take high lunge. Take the left hand out, back and around as far as you will go. Reaching here, coming out and plie. And reach over with the right hand over to the left in plie. Release. Both hands clasping above the head and reach side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release the hands. 
here we're going to double pad the mat and lower the knees or even triple my mat, mat is not very thick and bring the inner knees onto the ground flex the feet and keep your calves parallel to each other holding here for a moment inner thigh and hip opener and to come out of it you're gonna walk your feet towards each other and unwind the mat and face the front of your room down dog let's take the left leg up open the hip up or knee up hip over the right hip look between your hands and bring your left knee down for pigeon to open up deeper you can walk the right foot away from you which brings the heel a little further away from your hip bone lengthen lifting the rib cage lengthening through the crown of the head keeping the spine elongated you can lower down keep flexing the left foot and you can relax here exhaling through the hip In our Western culture, our hips are far too stiff and closed in. So yoga poses are very helpful for opening the hips. And of course, paired with hip strengthening work, which we have done through the series and I often bring into the classes. That is a perfect balance of opening and strengthening the hips, counteracting all the chair activities that we <laughs> do during the day. Our, our chair is not really the best invention. We can use the chair, but it's also good to sit on the floor as often as we can with our um, legs crossed so that we never lose that capacity of cross-legged sitting. Exhaling and softening here. Visualizing crystal water, rinsing the hips. beautiful coming out of this and we're going to take the toes and they're going to one legged down dog and just draw a few circles with the left knee mola banda advisable here good step your left foot again left to the front coming into high lunge and you can walk your hands over to the right keep your left knee steady and reach here reach to the right with the left hand and back to center extending the tailbone down feeling the hip keep the right hand on the floor take the left arm up this is a twist but we're gonna try to open the chest as far up as we can open 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 beautiful both hands on the floor down dog take the right leg up and open that knee up find freedom and bring your foot forward knee on the ground adjust here so that the hips are equal distance from the floor they're square 
and they're level with the floor. One hip is not a little further away, both hips are equal distance from the floor. Roll onto the shin bone if you must. Find your place here, feel your hips soften. Here we don't want to force a stretch. Anywhere in my practice there is no forcing. We don't want to jam ourselves into a pose. We want to yield, soften, learn about ourselves, learn about our body, listen and allow a pose to happen. So lifting the rib cage, lower down, keep that length and hold and breathe. Your breath is your best friend here, softening, relaxing, visualizing crystal clear water, rinsing the hip, removing the debris, the gunk, the whatever we store in the hips. The hips after all are part of the pelvic alignment and they hold space for our first chakra, our rootedness, our connection to the earth our grand groundedness on earth, how much we connect here and how much we find stability. Because if we want to expand the heart, we have to ground first. If we want to expand the mind and if we want to expand into the universe through the crown chakra, we have to first find grounding it may be boring for some <laughs> or for others it's absolutely a necessity if you have anxiety that's too much here and not much happening in the first chakra there is a lack there so grounding mula bandha staying grounded on earth so that we can healthily expand open the heart open the mind without creating an imbalance. begin to walk the hands back up tuck your toes under and go back into one legged down dog a few circles here relaxing the hip mula bandha look between the hands step your foot to the front press the back heel away from you Keep your knee aligned and walk here to the left. You can reach. And let's walk back to the front, left hand on the ground, right arm up and open maybe here. Feel the hips opening. All right, beautiful. So scoot your right leg all the way to the outer edge of the mat and we're gonna take the left leg forward in and step into yogic squat that's a good hip opening pose and let's take the right hand reach out and back 
and maybe class behind not necessary nothing is really necessary uh, it's everything is just a suggestion that may or may not work for your body release opposite side softening the shoulders here beautiful release new pose for the series we're gonna bring the hands down straighten the legs and walk them in down dog lower down onto your forearms and walk your feet in chin forward over the thumbs almost holding here now press back dolphin pose so now press back so that the ears come between the triceps dolphin pose so from the chest it's a chest opening pose again pose release down and lay back onto your back to lay back safely you can lay lowering onto the side and then onto your back how we do in pregnancy or if there is a back issue otherwise again this is safe again pull the belly in round the back and slowly lower down tucking the tailbone under and slowly lower down both are good both ways to lay down are good and here you can just bring the knees side to side great let's walk the feet hip width apart press your elbows down open the chest and keep your feet hip width apart toes pointing the leg directly forward lift the hips bridge pose lifting the arches of the feet here you can even lift the toes keep lifting holding bridge pose you can clasp the hands underneath or bring the hands onto the uh, hips for support either way breathe lift the hips even higher great release down soles of the feet together Bada Konasana laying here for a moment And breathe in and out here through the heart seeing light and colored light circulating around the heart area the heart chakra and you can connect to any color light that resonates with you and see it spinning into the heart funneling in and out spiral light pink green golden light white purple whatever whatever works for you and just breathing through the heart in and out imagining your breath coming in and out of the heart area radiating that light externally outward into the world into the universe giving of yourself
softening the face muscles, corners of the lips are smiling, relax the jaw, relax the lips, relax the shoulders, let them drop. Soften the belly. You can extend one at a time the legs onto the ground. Keep breathing through the heart. Using Mula Bandha as you inhale. To keep the energy in, to generate more energy. And let's wiggle the toes and fingers. Bring your hands, the fingertips, onto the right side of the belly and with circular motion, massage on the lower belly up above the belly button, massaging, massaging, self massage, so important. Massaging, massaging, massaging over to the left and down. Maybe one more time, starting at the right. You can slow down here, a circular motion and moving up, drawing circles. And you can deepen even the pressure. So if you find a sore spot, that you didn't know about, linger there. Ideally, there should be zero sore spots. Let's do one more time. Zero sore spots means good digestive system, which part of it is yoga. We're relaxing, letting go of tension in the abdominal area in the digestive system which improves digestion and improves hormones. And it allows for a good, good, good belly. <laughs> All right. You can shake your head, uh, your feet a little bit. Wiggle them a little bit and roll onto your side. And press yourself up to sit it. We always press up, so we're not using any muscles since we're so relaxed. You can bring your fingertips onto your the hairline and massage, massage, massage. Light pressure moving the skin over the bone and moving towards the back of the head, top of the head. 
light pressure moving the skin light but firm base base of the head lifting up beautiful now bring your fingers in front of the ears light pressure moving down just to drain a little bit of that lymphatic fluid which actually we do with yoga all the down dogs and now behind the ears moving it down 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 now you can tap right above and right under the collarbone tap 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 I have a full gua sha tutorial on here gua sha I'll try to link it below you can do it it's a lymphatic drainage head massage face massage good let's massage the this is also really good for head cold it gets all the stuff out massage above the or right along the eyebrows let's do the sinuses over the nose and one more time in front of the ears moving all this lymph fluid down into the main drainage point for the head the lymph nodes here the main lymphatic drainage tap 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 very light tapping all right smile inhale your hands over the head exhale them over the third eye for always always seeing the truth intuiting the truth being guided by the truth and over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their generosity compassion and love namaste and thank you all for joining me for this series 30 day series this class is a standalone class as well so we'll be coming back to it in our schedules and i'm excited for the future because happily ever after is the beginning of a new chapter i'm really happy that i embarked on this journey and that you joined me because this is opening the possibilities for new adventures ahead of us and i will be here every sunday and i think i'm gonna add every wednesday hit wednesday so make sure that you're coming back click the bell button so that you're getting emails and notifications when i'm posting a video i'll be posting every sunday with our yoga class and i'll be every day on the website that is pretty exciting <laughs> and i'll see you um, we'll be doing a lot more yoga together so this is really the beginning this is not the end this is the beginning and i congratulate you and i'm very grateful for each and every one of you that joined me for this journey it was an honor a blessing a challenge and a learning experience and i'll see you with our next adventures and next journeys Thank you all again for joining me for this and let's remember to flow with strength and ease. Hey baby, thank you for joining us for this beautiful experience. Did you rest enough? Did you get enough rest? Little Sophie, little Sophie. Mushy, mushy face. Mushy, mushy face.